Good morning, it's Claire Brennan here for Gina K Designs and in this video I'd like to show you the new range of foil mates produced by Gina K Designs in association with Thermoweb. Here are some of the items that I've used in this project and I will point out uh, the items individually in writing at the top of the screen as I use them. The foil mates themselves are a series of unique foilable elements that have been designed for Thermoweb by Gina K Designs. They are backgrounds, sentiments and invitations and they come printed on a page as you can see here um, and I'm going to cut these out with some of the dies that have also come from Thermoweb. There are single stitch dies and double stitch dies and I'm using the oval sets. You can see exactly which ones at the top of the screen here. Just secure them with a little tape before cutting. So I just ran these through the cuddle bug like I would with any other die. They're low profile, very easy to use. And what I like about the oval designs is that the double stitch mats lovely on top of the single stitch ovals, um, which just makes it really easy for you to mat items. So now that I've trimmed out my foil mate sentiment, um, I'm going to run that through the laminator. But before I do that, I'm going to ink around the edges of my panel with a little passionate pink ink. Now, you can use any home laminator to create your foil mate's accents. I'm using a really cheap one that I bought out of Lidl's. So it doesn't have to be anything very expensive. Um, but you can just play around and practice a wee bit to start with. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Now I'm sponging a little bit of colour around my sentiment before I run it through the laminator. I have found that this doesn't affect the process of the lamination at all and I like doing it up front because it means I don't risk rubbing off any of the foil and it means that I'm absolutely sure that I've got the ink in the right place before I foil so that I don't waste that lovely foil if, if perhaps I was inking up later and maybe, maybe messed up or got it in the wrong place. Now when you open a packet of foil mates you'll see that it comes with a piece of parchment paper and that's what you're going to use to put it through the laminator. You lay down your foil mates, you put the foil on top, shiny side up and you run that through the laminator. I'm also using a piece of blue card here as a shim because my laminator does not have a very tight fit and I get a better result this way. One of the really great things about this series of foils is that they are designed to match the Gina K inks. This is Passionate Pink Foil, which will match the Gina K ink Passionate Pink and also the cardstock. So you can create projects that are beautifully coordinated. Look at that shine. I'm using this little sticky dot runner also from Thermoweb. It's really cute and really handy actually. I haven't used one of these before. And I really like how these ovals mat on top of each other because I, I quite like thin mats. I don't know about you, but I like a little fine mat around my focal points. Now, I've pre-cut um, a piece of one of the background foil mates here. It's called Dots and Strings. And again, I'm going to sponge a bit around the edge because I, I like a bit of sponging. And it in no way impairs the function of the foiling on top of it. And as I said before, it avoids the danger of me maybe being a bit too heavy-handed and rubbing off the foil after the event. Now, I've used Gina K inks throughout. I'm not sure how this would work with other inks, but I'll give that a go later on. And I'm just going to make up the foiling sandwich like I did before. Um, I just pop this in the back of my machine and it comes out the front. I'm not sure that really I need to show you that in a video. Um, I guess if you have a laminator you'll know how that works. But if you do get stuck give me a shout and I'll make a wee vid for that. I really love this bit. You know when you just open the sandwich and then you peel off that foil. It's so satisfying to see all that lovely shiny foil having transferred onto the black design. I'm treating these foiled images as if they were stamped images and I'm adding a little bit of colour, some orange here, over the top of the candles and inside the little flames because I like a bit of orange with my pink. I love how this all coordinates and you can use your passionate pink cardstock um, to match the foils. I went ahead and cut out a little rectangle with one of the rectangle dies. It was the single stitch design. And I'm thinking here about adding a little bit of the ribbon. It's beautiful. Sheer satin fancy ribbon with a gold trim. So I'm using the white ribbon here and I've decided I'm going to customise it a little bit. I'm just going to run a Copic marker 
up the sides I've got a colour here that matches the wild dandelion and I've also got a Copic marker to match the passionate pink and that way I can customise this lovely ribbon to match my project and you still see that gold sparkling through it really is lovely to work with this ribbon. And now that it's time to put the whole thing together, I've got some of the foam squares also from Thermoweb. I like these, they're quite deep, give you a good relief on your card front. And since I couldn't decide which of the ribbons to use, I'm going to use both. Just tie them in a little loose bow at the bottom there. And I'm using a rotary cutter to cut the edges. Now, if you do this, be very careful because that, that's a raw blade at the end there. But if, you, if you've done a bit of quilting, you'll know how to handle one of these. You can also use a pair of really sharp scissors, which I don't have. I love these Thermoweb Zots. I haven't seen these before, but they're really perfect for adhering things that are sheer. Um, you can't see it at all. It's great. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.